Hi guys, this is JasonDon.com and I'm here with the Sony Xperia Z3 in the dual SIM version and I'm here to unbox this device. We're dealing with the white version of the phone, the 16GB one and here we are with the warranty and let's see the device. It was announced in September at IFA 2014 in Berlin and it looks something like this. As I said, white version, dual SIM version, priced between $600 and $700 internationally. Okay, we've already tested the Xperia Z, the Xperia Z1, Z1 Compact and the Z2, so it's time for the Sony Xperia Z3 to grace us with its presence. Also in the box we have this protective film for the front and back since both of them are made of glass. And inside the box we have the charger, pretty typical for a Sony device. Then we have the USB cable and then comes a bunch of manuals, instruction guides, things to know about the device, Xperia, Sony VIP lounge and more documents. Okay, finally some earplugs for the headphones and a small accessory to clip it to your clothes. And these are the headphones that look pretty pre premium at first glance. So this is the package of the Sony Xperia Z3 and this is the device. So let's start it up. As you can see its edges are now rounded, they will not cut into your palm like on the Xperia Z1 and Z2. We got the on off button here, a volume button here and a camera button here. So let's press the on off button. This model is also thinner and lighter than its predecessor. It weighs 152 grams, it measures 7.3 millimeters in thickness. And now let's see the Android setup. We're dealing with a product that's uh, IP68 certified. This means it's dustproof and waterproof. And now we're setting it up. Okay, get started. Last step and here we are. Main interface is right here. Let's tweak the brightness just a little bit. Well, that's more like it. As I said before, this model is IP68 certified, it can withstand dust and water. As far as the water is concerned, it can go in a depth of up to 1.5 meters for about 30 minutes. The screen you're seeing here is an IPS, it's a 5.2 incher, Full HD display with triluminous technology and X reality technology. We also have uh, stereo speakers on board of the device, a micro SD card slot with support for up to 128 extra storage, while the main storage is 16 or 32 gigabytes inside the device. There are also 3 gigabytes of RAM, there's LTE, NFC, Bluetooth 4.0, and micro USB 2.0 with MHL. At the back, you will find a 20.7 megapixel camera with G lens and the sensor measures about one half of an inch and I should also mention that the ISO this time goes up to uh, 12,800 it can take 4k video and at the front side we have a um, 2.2 megapixel shooter for selfies inside the phone you can find a quad core snapdragon 801 processor clocked at 2.5 gigahertz and the GPU well that's the Adreno 330 Okay, these are the home screens, we also have an accelerometer, gyroscope and compass, while the battery is a um, lithium ion 3100 mAh unit. We have a glass panel at the front, glass panel also at the back, and this white version looks quite nice, I have to say that. Once again, the edges are now rounded and they will not cut into your palm, and the device finally feels light enough for a flagship. Now let's see the sides, we got here a lid with the purpose of protection against water. This lid hides the two SIM slots. And on the other side, another lid. This one hides the micro USB port and the micro SD card slot. We also have some pins here in order to connect to a charger, cradle and things like that. Okay, so this is it. I want to show you in the end of the unboxing the camera interface of this device and some of its camera features. So here we go. You can remember your photo locations. These are the capture modes, including superior auto, manual, sound photo, face in, multi camera, time shift, 4K video, augmented reality, time shift burst. Some of them are downloadable, but you'll see those in the full review since we don't have access to a web right now. More options here 
and a ton more options once you select the manual mode. A lot of stuff to customize. And that's about it. This is the Sony Xperia Z3, a pretty good first impression, priced between $600 and $700. And finally, a more comfy experience, a pretty promising camera, and we'll be back in a few days with a full review of the Xperia Z3 here at gsmhome.com. That's the unboxing, bye bye for now.